Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. I'm Spike Viper and I'm moving. So you know what else is going to be moving today? Earth. We're going to move Earth into orbit of Jupiter. But we're going to do this without dragging it. We're going to try to do this legitimately and it's going to be an absolute mess. Remember, this is like Kerbal Space Program Universe Sandbox 2 Edition. So we're going to try to find Earth when it's in a good trajectory to go towards Jupiter. So... We're going to try to capture it, and it's going to be a little bit challenging. Okay, here we go. I think this is actually a perfect angle. If we fire Earth off this way, I think it'll intercept Jupiter. Well, we'll try our best. I remember in Kerbal Space Program how to do this, but this is a little bit more challenging. We do have direct control over the speed of the Earth, so all we got to do is turn that bad boy. Uh oh, not quite up that far. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to have Earth take a little bit of a... Uh, path forward it's gonna get a little bit cold i mean we're gonna we're gonna have to deal with that hopefully we don't hit anything along the way asteroid belt smashed belt you know no issue that's fine all right there we go so we're gonna hope that jupiter okay this may not be perfect actually actually i may have done a really good job here do 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 nope Nope, we've got an issue. We've got a problem. Jupiter is definitely not going. Oh no. We've missed our we've missed our beautiful our beautiful moment. Where we could have made this work. Okay, so we'll go around again. I think if we go around again we'll be fine. Earth is gonna get a little bit toasty! Oh damn. Okay. That looked like it was going to be much worse than it actually was. Okay, this may actually work this time. Earth is coming around, Earth is coming around, Jupiter's coming around. Ah, uh, okay. We need Jupiter to catch Earth now, which means Earth needs to move a little bit faster. That's okay. Let's go ahead and turn up Earth's speed. A lot. That's going to cause it to rocket towards Jupiter. Get it? Rocket, because we're in space. And it looks like they're going to hit the same point at about the same time. I think Earth may have to be slowed down a little bit to make this work. That's fine. We can make tweaks. And then once they're super, super close to each other. Wow. Look at that. Really didn't take too, too much work to get them this close. Okay, so Earth needs to speed up a little bit more. Okay, that was a little bit too much. Imagine just having a lever where you can just change the speed of the Earth. Okay, they are really close together now. We are at the point where this would actually be... Well, I mean, this entire thing would be scary the whole time, but we can really screw up at this point. Okay, here we go. Now, something that we're going to notice is that we have an issue. We are off vertically by quite a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to pause and we're going to try to modify. This is the only thing I'm going to modify because we need to legitimately just change direction a little bit. We're going to look at Jupiter. We're going to go a little bit to the left here. And we're going to point this to go down in that direction. So now we should pass by Jupiter. And just to make sure that we get there first, we're just going to turn up Earth's speed a little bit. We're going to turn down time so I don't screw it up too horribly. Play, turn up Earth's speed a bit. Okay, that's a little bit too much, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Earth is now really flying towards Jupiter. And we can actually see Jupiter now. Look at that. It's actually visible. We're now, once again, going in the kind of wrong direction. So we're going to try to even it up once again. But we are going to make our pass. Here, so we just got to go this way. So it's kind of pointing to where Jupiter is going to be. I think that'll actually do it. Earth is going a little bit faster. 
That's all right because we're getting closer and closer and closer and now actually I think we could actually kind of start an orbit at this point but what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this this way so that we're kind of parallel a little bit more parallel at least to Jupiter we're gonna turn down Earth's speed now to try to get it to fall into Jupiter's orbit So what's going to happen is Earth's just going that way. Jupiter's getting closer, closer. And Earth is starting to get the gravitational pull of Jupiter. We can see it here. Now Earth is going to get sucked into Jupiter at this rate. Oh, are we going to orbit? Or are we going to... Nope. Nope. This is getting eaten. This is 100% getting eaten territory. So we're going to pull this vector as hard as we can. To the side and we're gonna give earth just a little bit more speed okay so now that we're passing by safely we're gonna try to get a little bit closer <coughs> oh video over I died <coughs> oh I died twice oh my god Aaron I'm actually dying corona time Aaron says she's gonna die if I die. That would be sad. Both of my favorite people dead at the same time. Oh yeah, there we go. We turned down the speed a little bit. And now, is it gonna work? Oh, is there just gonna get flung? Uh-oh. No, I think we're actually fine. I think we did it. Yes! Oh, that got really quite close. Okay, we really have to standardize that orbit a bit more, because that is very risque. It is stable, though. And actually, this may warm Earth up a bit. Or rip it apart. <laughs> Slight difference, but you know. Oh, it, it does change the temperature a tiny bit. After enough time, it would actually heat Earth up. Yeah, it's going up by 0.1 each time. How close would the Earth have to be to actually get enough heat from this? That's the question. So we're going to go over to the point where the Earth is at its fastest. And we're going to slow it down a bit to try to collapse that orbit a little bit more. Hopefully that doesn't cause it to hit Jupiter. Ah! Oh god, that that is going to be death. Damn, okay. Oh, that is that is very much death. Okay, Earth, we're we're trying our best here to not die. Oh damn. That was almost quite bad. Okay, I think I think we need to do this a little bit more respectfully. Um getting an orbit is really, really challenging uh without using the cheaty methods. But I think that we're going to have to. Let's go ahead and try an auto orbit here. See if it gets a clean one. And then let's see how close we have to be to actually warm Earth up enough to be livable. I mean, tidal forces might cause some strangeness for life on Earth. But at the same time, we need heat. So let's see. So it is actually getting warmer, um, very slowly, but very steadily. So if we speed up time a bit, we can see that it's still going. It should start curving, though, at some point, and hopefully it takes a while for it to start curving, um, because we need it to get a lot warmer. So we're just going to speed it up a bit more, a bit more. Just We just don't want this simulation to absolutely break. Um, I don't really want to risk it more than that. So we can see they're doing their thing. Earth is dancing around Jupiter. And wow, Jupiter, the tidal forces are actually putting a lot of heat into the Earth. Now it's starting to curve a tiny bit. The amount that we're gaining is starting to drop a very small amount. That's going to get a little bit more defined as time goes on. Um, but we're actually only at negative 40 now. Some parts of Earth may actually not be that bad negative 30 
I mean, it's cold, but almost doable for life. Almost doable. I mean, like, negative 20, I mean, pretty rough, but for space, not terrible. Negative 15. Wow, we're actually going to get it into a range of habitability. Hopefully it doesn't get too warm, though. We may have to move it a little bit. Yeah, we may actually be hoping for more of a curve here. Because now we're in the positives. And it is just really rising. Oof. Alright, we may have to change that. Okay. We have to find a way to get Earth's temperature to stabilize now. Look at that! The heat from the gravity of Jupiter is just really providing enough for Earth to be able to survive in this relationship. Um, of course, it's going to melt at some point, so we're going to actually give Earth a little bit more speed. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That is not what I meant to do. That's not speed. So we're going to go to the motion, and we are actually going to raise Earth's speed a tiny bit. And what that's going to do is going to give us a bigger orbit, at least for part of the orbit. And that'll give us a good chance. There we go. So it goes down, and then it goes up, and then it goes down, and then it goes... Okay, so we're going to have to slow this down then. This is a little bit too far. That's fine. Up, way up. Stable way up down a little bit way up okay so we can definitely see that that's too much now so we've got a balance okay up a tiny bit down a tiny bit there we go that's exactly what we want up a tiny bit down a tiny bit we just need it to go up a tiny bit more Very slight change here. Up a little bit. Down a little bit. That's up too far now. Damn, this is really challenging. Even with an atmosphere. Now we could tweak the atmosphere to try to give us an easier time here. But... For the most part... Oh, I think I may have gotten it. Oh, that is so close. Okay, just a little bit less speed. Oh, more speed, not less. Okay, that'll do it. That's gotta be stable. That is so freaking close. <laughs> After like hundreds of years though, that really does add up. I mean, you can, you can definitely see now, now that the graph has changed a little bit, uh, the scale we can definitely see that this is not working this is global warming on steroids especially considering how quickly we're orbiting it's one day every day it's gaining like fractions of a degree that's that's way too much okay let's see how this does we just need things to be balanced as all things should be. Oh. Ooh. Would you look at that? Oh. Ah, see see the, the tro there is much lower. <sighs> this is actually really challenging. You know what's funny? In real life, obviously, we're in like the perfect spot for the Earth, but... It really does not take that much to throw things off horribly. Now, we're depending on tidal heating, which is not nearly the same as the uh, sun heating the Earth, but still, you really do have to respect how little it takes to screw up all of humanity. You really gotta appreciate it, guys. There we go. I, I think this will be it. Come on. Oh, wow. No, that was way too far. Oh, damn. 
Oh man, that's really bad. Okay, let's let's start tweaking the atmosphere. I don't think that this is a viable solution. Um, atmosphere time. Let's go to the composition. Let's go over. Where is is that under surface? Atmosphere. So what we're gonna do is we're going to modify. And we'll see how this affects it if we decrease it. So that should increase. No? Oh, damn. That made a massive difference. Wow. So this modifies how much heat is let out from Earth. So tweaking this gives us a very fine-tuned ability. And all we have to do is... Oh! Oh my god, we did it. Would you look at that? I'd be fine with that being the graph for my heart. <laughs> that is pretty damn stable. Nice. So, there would be... First off, you would kind of have global seasons in this situation. You wouldn't have, like, normal seasons. You'd have, like, every day it would... Oh, that would be so weird. It is getting colder, but barely. So little. So, so little that I don't even know if I want to mess with this. Let's just change it by one. Oh. That may have actually made it more stable. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is insane. Okay. So, I'd like to say we have made Earth habitable while orbiting Jupiter. That's... that's pretty cool. Of course, the tidal effects would be absolutely insane. Like, the water on one side of the Earth. I don't even want to know how bad the waves are going to be. You'd have to hide in, like, Colorado to avoid the tsunamis, but... You know, in a way, it's cooler. I say we move the Earth. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. If I'm moving, the Earth has to move as well. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Because of finals and moving, I'll probably be posting a bit less videos for the next week or so. So, boppin. <laughs> really boppin. Dab. Don't unsubscribe, I promise. I promise I'm not this weird normally.